Well, I'm going to say good evening because this is a Sunday night, but I wanted to go ahead and get these Dollar Tree reviews out of the way. So this is Mrs. Black Gold. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And let's talk about some Dollar Tree items. I used up all of this Old World Flavor 1905 5% Acidity White Distilled Vinegar, and it's a 32 fluid ounces. I don't even cook with this. I put a little of this, I mix it with my fabric softener in my wash, um, when I wash clothes. So that's what I use it for, and I used up this whole container, I love it. Look, if you use it to cook, tell me, do you enjoy using it to cook with? And here goes the LA's Totally Awesome Oxygen Cleaner, um, Oxygen Orange Base Cleaner, Chlorine Free, 32 ounces. This is great. Now, I always forget to tell you all that I will take like a small cup Put a scoop of that in the cup and put hot water to that so it dissolves. Even stir it up and then throw it in my washing machine. Because I've had more than enough occasions when I first started using this that sometimes this didn't break down. Um, and it also tells you to use in like warm or hot water. So don't forget that when you use the oxygen, LA's Totally Awesome Oxygen Based Cleaner. Um, if you find that when you use it, it always breaks down, whether it's in cold water or not, good for you. But I've had occasions when it hasn't. I was so happy that I grabbed more than one bottle of this Penn Allen Max. It has come back to the Dollar Tree, but it doesn't stay in the Dollar Tree. Like originally from when I first saw this in there, it did come back again. But again, it doesn't stay in there all the time like other cleaners we know. But I love the scent of this. This Penn Allen Max Aromas, it's a multi-cleaner and it's, it just it smells good. So I finally used up all of this Penn Allen Max that I had. I don't have any more. The Suavitel Heavenly Vanilla. This is one of my faves. I love Suavitel as far as it being a fabric softener. They call it a conditioner. This is 15.2 fluid ounces. It's not a big size container, you can see there. Um, but it gets the job done. The downy is smaller that you can buy in the Dollar Tree. I always love the Fabulous Low So from the Dollar Tree. This is the one with baking soda. This was the citrus and fruits. I love this scent. I will just pour some Fabuloso in the toilet, let it sit there for a little bit, and then clean the toilet. But it really, you can smell it everywhere in the bathroom. I love Fabuloso. And this was a 30% more, and this is 22 fluid ounces. And here goes the Tile Plus 4-1 Multi-Surface Cleaner Refreshing Lemon scent. 32 fluid ounces this worked really well I love the scent of this um, I use this in a bunch of different places whether it was the bathroom the kitchen counters but this worked well this is by tile plus I would definitely buy this again here goes your gain fabric softener and this was a very small itty bitty container this was 10 fluid ounces but this fabric softener is very strong I mean like it has a very strong scent your clothes smell good um, but just very strong, so just letting you know. And if you like Gain, you'll love it. This is the Palm Olive Green Apple and White Lily. I maybe have five to four of these left. I'm so happy I stocked up when I could on these. And this is a 20 fluid ounces of Palm Olive. So this was great. Love the smell of it. Love how long it lasts me. Look how big that is. This is a big old bottle. It's, that's what you try to keep your eye every time and it's a trip because every time I go back into the Dollar Tree I am always looking to see if I find more of that on the shelf and they just don't have it <laughs> Now the Airwick Snuggle I picked this up from the DT. This is eight ounces um, They sell Airwick in there all the time. I think so. I think I always see it. I don't buy this that often um, But this was good. I enjoyed the scent of this Snuggle one matter of fact. This was the white lavender so I enjoyed this. I would buy it again. Now, I remember why I do not like these. This is the Welch's Essence Sparkling Mixed Berry. This has that super low taste. My boys like it. I do not like it. Um, but this container was 17 fluid ounces. Yep, 17 fluid ounces. But I it, I kept saying to myself, I hadn't drunk, drank these in a while. And now I remember why. Because of the super low taste. And it also came in this sparkling white grape. I tried both. I can't get over the sucralose. I can't get over that sweetener taste. Good scents. It's just something about the... I know some folks like good scents. They, it's just something about the, the, the trash bags at the Dollar Tree. I can't do them. I just need a sturdier bag. Um, I think I've even tried the Glad from the Dollar Tree. And they... I can't remember if they were okay for me or not. I think they just felt a little small in the trash can I, I needed it in. 
Um, but I would say those are the better brand, even outside of Good Sense. And I think the home store has a brand of trash bags. I just can't do trash bags from the Dollar Tree. It's something for me. Like, I, I probably... Too. I'm one of those people that stuff a lot of trash in trash cans. I'll gather the trash in the bathroom, everywhere else, and put it in one trash bag. And that's what I thought I was going to be using those for. And they still ended up being a little too thin for me. So, I always, um, if I run out of fruit, because I like to have cottage cheese in the morning, I will pick up fruit from the DT. These canned Libby's peach slices, the canned Libby's chunk pineapple. I enjoy this, both of them, in my cottage cheese. My son, my oldest son is a peach lover, so he enjoyed both of those as well. The uh, Libby's chunk pineapple was a 15-ounce can, and that is a 15.25-ounce can of peaches. This original Nestle Coffee Mate um, creamer, I like this. I enjoyed uh, getting this from the DT. I just prefer if I'm going to go uh, get some creamer, I want it to last me because I drink coffee. I drink coffee and tea. So I just prefer to go like the Sam's Wholesale Club and get this instead of going back to the DT and get the small size again. So this was really my first time trying Jennifer's Garden Spring Rolls. I remember trying them one other time, and I think I may have let them thaw out, and then I tried cooking them, so it was a no-go. They tasted horrible to me. But this time, I cooked these right, right from frozen. These are good. I've been hearing everybody say that these Spring Rolls are good. They were delicious. I think the only, was it 10 pieces? Because, okay, it may have been 10 in here. I can't remember if I felt like I was shorted. It wasn't enough spring rolls. But it's a lot of us here, too, eating. A lot of mouths to be fed. But these are really good. I want to try these in my air fryer. I enjoy the Farmer John maple pork links, as well as the regular ones. Me and the boys, um, we, we like these. The eight in the uh, pack work well for, like, one breakfast sitting for us. So these are good. I always use up and enjoy the fruit at the DT, which is Jennifer's Garden. This were the man these were the mango chucks. This is the tropical blend. Uh, let me see. They both are 10 ounce bags. So I love making smoothies with these. That's usually what I will do with the frozen fruit from the DT. Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. These came out well. I really like these. So I will go purchase these again from the Dollar Tree. Made them in a little 8x8 pan, just like it says. Now, I liked the sweet potatoes, the bird's eye sweet potatoes. I can't remember if the boys did or not, but I enjoyed these. Um, I actually didn't cook these in the bag. I put like olive oil on these, salt and pepper, put them in the oven. Um, that's how I cooked them. They were good. So I would definitely purchase these sweet potatoes again from the Dollar Tree or from the regular grocery store. Now, I had two different bags of those too. So I did try one in the microwave and then I cooked one, like roasted it in the oven. These Nathan's Chili Cheese Crunchy Crinkle Fries, they're good, I like these. Now I'm not gonna say I'll purchase them again, but I really just was surprised. I didn't think well of these um, crunchy crinkle fries, but these were pretty tasty. Let me show you, I think I kept one in here because I wanted to show you all. This is what they look like. But they were good, I like the taste of them. It's something that, again, I thought very badly of them even before I ate them, and they pleasantly surprised me. So the popcorners, this is the white cheddar, and the white cheddar is good. I've also tried the cinema style. I like that. That's the butter popcorn, and I even like the sweet chili. I'm really surprised about these popcorners and me liking the different tastes. Now the Sour Patch Kids watermelon, my boys love these. These are excellent. They taste really good. Um, you get five frozen ice pops in one box. The Ultra Shine Dish Detergent Packs, you get 10 in here, and these did work really well. And the Crider Premium White Chicken, this is good. I made um, chicken salad out of this, so don't hesitate to buy this from the Dollar Tree when they have it. This is a five ounce can. Um, it's really good, you just gotta pour the water off of it. You can do whatever you like with it. This is always a go for my boys. They love the Harvest Hill Original Pancake Syrup. No complaints here about it for a dollar. This is great because even for a generic brand in a grocery store, you're usually gonna pay $2 for a size like this. 
So this was not completely eaten. They did not enjoy this. This was the General Mills Mocha Crunch cereal. It was like the first time they ate it. And this was a limited edition. But the first time the boys ate it, it was like, oh, yeah, we like it. And then it sat there. So they really didn't like this. But this was a huge box. Um, that was a one pound, two ounce box that the Dollar Tree had. So if you like the Mocha Crunch, let me know. And Francesco Rinaldi pizza sauce. I always get this. This is 14 ounces of the pizza sauce. I love getting this. Even um, when I purchased the pizza crust from the Dollar Tree. And then some mozzarella, some pepperonis. Even picking up the pepperonis from the Dollar Tree. This is a really great quick snack after school when the boys get home. Oh, the herb roasted chicken. I actually, I didn't do chicken breast when I did this. This is by McCormick. I actually did like wingettes, but let them slow cook in this. This came out really well. I always still find that I have to add sometimes, like, just some salt for taste. Um, but this came out really well. I remember I enjoyed this chicken, and the boys did, too. And I wish I would have picked up more than one of these Badia Complete Seasonings, because this is a really good seasoning. I know that from just buying it um, elsewhere. When the Dollar Tree had it, I should have got more than one. I've used this up. Um, it is a small size, 2.5 ounces, but I think you're still going to at least pay $2 at the grocery store for this size of Complete Seasoning by Badia. And I always use this butter, no stick cooking spray. If a recipe for me calls for a no stick, uh, tells you to do the cooking spray, I just grab this. Um, and this is the Healthy Chef from the Dollar Tree. This is really good. This is a five ounce can of no stick cooking spray. And I have all of them. I have the canola oil, the coconut oil, and this one. I think I'm missing one. I think it might be four in there. And then the last thing I wanted uh, Avery to come and show you were these yokai toys. In case you have the yokai watch toys that were in the Dollar Tree. So he's going to show you this guy. This guy is Jibon Yan and how it works in case your Dollar Tree still has them. Now you can see what it is. Have this. So first, open the guys and guy up. Take these off. You put his hair up, slip his arms around, and his legs. Make sure you stay on the camera. You're not on camera anymore. And then open this up, take his jean jacket out, and then put it right there. And yeah. Okay, so he converted from what he looked like before to this now. Now Bryce is going to show you Whisper. And first. You have to... That's what he looks like originally, yeah. coming out of the case. Hold it up. Okay. First, you have to take this off. Then, you have to pull down his legs. Do it on the camera. And then, you have to put his mask on. Then you gotta put out his thing, and it's done. Okay, and so that's what he converts into. So these okay, little so. creatures convert into something else. And then the last one, I think there was only three in the dollar store. Okay, first you have to change his eyes, then flip him around, and give him his ice cream. Done. Ooh, I'm tired. Yeah. All right, so then that's what this one turns into. So these little yokai watch characters, I think they enjoyed being able to change them into something else. It says ages four plus. I know the baby did, definitely. So guys, you saw me yawn over and over. Yeah, it's been a long Sunday. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend. Enjoy your weekday coming up. Look forward to Monday. Be thankful that we get to see another day tomorrow. If that is what happens, um, God willing, right? So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this Dollar Tree review. Y'all take care. Have an awesome week on purpose. Thank you.